Hi, my friends. It's Megan again. How are you all doing? I am here today with my daughter, Amelia, who's going to be my assistant because I had a little accident and I hurt my ankle. So I'm stuck in a boot and can't do the poses. But Amelia is going to be my demonstrator. <laughs> all right, so let's start class as we usually do by finding a nice spot to sit in with nothing behind us in case we roll backwards, we don't want to hurt our head. And we sit up nice and tall, crisscross applesauce, and we take our two hands. One hand has something that's special about us. So something we like to do, something we're really good at doing, something that, you know, we're learning to do. Amelia, yeah, what's something that you're learning to do or something you like to do? What I makes like you special? to dance. Amelia is a dancer, she dances every day. And this hand is something that's kind, something we do for other people that's kind, like when we help our friends or help our parents or our teachers. Maybe it's something you do with kind. I help you whenever you need stuff. You do, she's helping me today, that's kind. So let's put our two hands together. When we see that there's something special about you and something special about me, we call that namaste. We say namaste to each other. Namaste. namaste. <laughs> Good job. All right, so we've greeted each other and now we need to get our mind and our body ready to do yoga by breathing. So we take a big breath in through our nose, it's like we're smelling something yummy. And then we breathe out. Now Amelia, let's show them. Put your hands on your belly. When you breathe out, your belly's gonna get bigger. When you breathe in, you push all that breath out. You guys do it again. I'm gonna use our breathing ball. Big breath in. And out, and in, and out, and one more time, big breath in, and big breath out. Awesome job. Now, Amelia, when we do yoga in school, I usually read a story, okay, and we act it out. So, because Sunday, today is Friday, Sunday is Mother's Day, so I brought a book called Do Animals, Does a Kangaroo Have a Mother Too by Eric Carle. Because I love reading about him in um, May, which is the month that we're in right now. Do animal mother kangaroos have mothers too? Amelia, this was actually given to you when oh, you were born. I didn't know that. There you go. Does a kangaroo have a mother too? Yes, a kangaroo has a mother, just like me and you. And there it is with its baby kangaroo. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the back of your mats and you're gonna kind of get into your little kangaroo pose and you're gonna jump as quietly and as far as you can. Take a big breath in and jump. Excellent, turn around, do it again. Big breath in, and out. One more time, big breath in, and out, jump. Beautiful job, and sit down, crisscross, applesauce, beautiful. Okay, does a lion have a mother too? Yes, a lion has a mother, just like me and you. There it is, with all its baby lions. All right, so to do lion's breath, you're going to sit on your knees. So sit facing the mirror and uh, the camera. And then you're going to put your hands on your knees and take a big breath in. And you're going to lean forward and go, <sighs> make it come out of your throat. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But I'm cracking her up. All right, big breath in and out. <sighs> and one more time, big breath in. And out. Good job. Stick that tongue way out. So fun. All right. Does a giraffe have a mother too? Yes, a giraffe has a mother, just like me and you. There it is. So our giraffe pose, we're going to come stand up the length of our mat. So Amelia, you're going to face this way. I can actually try to do this one with you. 
come follow me. So you're gonna come to the end of your mat and you're gonna put one foot forward. Excellent. And now you're gonna bring your elbow down to your knee and you're gonna bring your other big long neck of the giraffe up and there's its head, big breath in and out. You can do it like this, sweetie, like this. Or you can even reach all the way down if you want. Big breath in and out. Make that giraffe neck look all around. Say hello to it. Hello. 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 Maybe it bends down to grab something to eat. And it comes all the way back up. There's its head. Big breath in and out. Now, whatever we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. So Amelia's going to turn her body around. And there she is. Big breath in and out. Nice job. And come all the way back up. Big breath in and big breath out. We sit back down. Beautiful. Isn't she a good demonstrator? <laughs> You're a very good assistant. Does a penguin have a mother too? Yes, a penguin has a mother, just like me and you. And there it is, it's little penguin. So penguin pose, we're gonna come back to the back of our mats. And we're gonna waddle like a penguin with our feet out and you're gonna waddle towards the front, like this, just straight. Come back to the back of your mat. It's okay, look to the front. And you're just gonna waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle like a little penguin. Here she goes. And she can try to go backwards now. Waddle, 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 all the way back. She could also try to turn her feet in. And waddle, waddle, waddle. And back. Now, if you have something like a cotton ball or a regular ball, or I even have this little ducky. That's your thing. Yep. You can put your feet together and try to walk so that your duck or your ball does not fall off your foot like a mommy penguin or a daddy penguin. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, try it. Big breath in. And out. Bring your toes up. Big breath in. And out. There she goes. All right. It's a little tricky. It takes some practice. Good job. Thank you. All right. See, what is the next animal? Does a swan have a mother too? Yes, a swan has a mother, just like me and you. Look at all the baby swans. All right, for our swan pose, we are going to come to a squat. So facing our friends, Amelia, you're gonna come all the way down into a squat, but you're gonna try to bring your feet together. Yep, now come down. Actually, I can't do this without, yeah, just come down to a squat. Bob, all the way down. Good job. Arms like a beautiful swan. Big breath in and out. Look at the friends, big breath in and out. Nice job, big breath in, come all the way back up. Now the swans are going to take flight. So you're gonna step one foot forward, one foot behind you, arms out, and she's going to look at something on the floor. And she's gonna balance, so she's very good at this because she's a dancer, but she's gonna bring her foot back. She can stay right there or she can bring her foot up. Big breath in and out and in. And out, now bring it down and try the other leg. Big breath in and out and in and out. Now Amelia can do this because she does this all day long. But if it was a little trickier for her, she could bring her leg down a little bit. Because some of my friends, Amelia, are still learning how to balance. So big breath in and out and in and out. She's looking at that ball to help her. Thank you. Good job. Does a fox have a mother too? Yes, yes, a fox has a mother just like me and you. So our fox pose, Amelia is gonna come on all fours facing this way. 
And a fox has that big, long tail. So she's going to bring up one of her legs as the tail. Big breath in and out. Looking forward, big breath in and out. So beautiful. She's going to bring that down, and now she's going to bring up her other foxy tail. Big breath in and out and in and out. Beautiful job. She's going to bring both legs down, and she's going to sit all the way down. And let's see what's next. Does a dolphin have a mother too? Yes, a dolphin has a mother just like me and you. All right, Amelia. Amelia is gonna come on all fours. Then she's gonna bring her elbows down to the ground. She's gonna look at her hands as she rises up kind of like in downward dog, but she's staying on her elbows. Big breath in, nice job. Look at your hands, big breath out. And in and out. Now, if she wanted to make her dolphin swim, she would come forward, yep, and back, and forward. Big breath in and out. And one more time, big breath in and out. And then she can come all the way down, shake those arms out. Nice, and we done. Does a sheep have a mother? Yes, a sheep has a mother, just like me and you. All right, Amelia, you ready to ball like sheep? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Amelia's going to come on all fours again. And she's going to breathe in and look up. And then she's going to breathe out and hollow out her belly, look down, go back. <laughs> and breathe in, look up, arch your back. There we go. And breathe out. Arch your back and go the other way. Breathe out. Bah. Really let your, really, really round that back. There you go. Big breath in one more time. Look up. Big breath out. Arch your back. Bah. Excellent. Sit back down. All these animals that have mothers, too. Does a bear have a mother? Yes, a bear has a mother just like me and you. All right, bears. So Amelia's gonna walk like a bear. So she's gonna come to the end of her mat over there and she's gonna do downward dog. And then she's gonna bring her knees as close to the mat as possible. So not touching, and then she's just gonna walk like a bear, big breath in and out, and in, and out all the way to the end, and then she can go backwards. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Beautiful job. Thank you. If you're with a partner, you guys can take turns walking through the bear cave. So Amelia's gonna be the bear going through the bear cave. So Amelia, come over here. And your partner can be the cave, and you can go through. Now, this works well because we're both pretty tall. But if one of us wasn't, Amelia would go down on her belly, and she would come through, crawling through on her arms like that. Yep. Beautiful. All the way through. And there she goes. Excellent. Okay. See what animal is going to come next. Does an elephant have a mother too? Yes, an elephant has a mother just like me and you. All right, so we're going to get our elephant trunks. So Amelia is going to sit with one leg straight out and one leg bent in. So that's the trunk and this part over here is the elephant's ear. Amelia's going to grab her trunk and she's going to raise it up, raise it up. Good. Maybe grab with two hands. Excellent. And then bring it back down and switch legs. Steady. And she's going to raise up the other elephant trunk. There it is. And down. You want to make the elephant trunk spray water? Switch legs again. Raise up your elephant trunk. Maybe grab a little bit of water. 
and then it comes up and it's going to spray back and forth, spray, oh no, that element got me all wet, and switch, and make it take a sip of water, point your toes, and then bring it up and spray everywhere, there it goes, silly elephant, okay, does a monkey have a mother too? Yes, a monkey has a mother just like me and you. I'm your mother. I know. <laughs> so fun. All right, so our monkey pose, we are going to stand up and we're going to spread our legs a little bit wide and then we're going to bend our knees a little bit. Put our hands behind our head and we're going to go side to side. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, trying to touch our shoulders to our knees. So like this, Amelia, like a, this. And then you're going, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, good. All right, now let's be a gorilla. Stand up tall, big breath in and go. And now we're gonna do our actual yoga gorilla pose. So standing with your feet kind of hip distance apart. So bring them a little bit, good, facing them forward. You're going to bring your hands underneath your feet. Yep, put your toes on top, just like that. Beautiful job. Big breath in, look up. Big breath out, try to bring your head down a little closer. Big breath in, look up, and down again. Nice job, big breath in, and now sit all the way back down. Excellent. She's such a good assistant. Do animal love, animal mothers love their babies? Yes, yes, of course they do. Animal mothers love their babies just like yours loves you. So we're going to sit crisscross applesauce like Amelia is doing. And we're going to give ourselves a great big hug. Big breath in and give yourself a great big hug. And in. And one more time. Nice job. All right, it is time for Shavasana. So, friends, as I've told my friends before, and if this is your first time, you'll get to hear it now. When we go about our day doing our things, we get a little bit busy. And inside, we might be thinking about a lot of stuff. So, our brains look like this yoga brush, right? They're very busy with all the thoughts floating around. So when we sit calmly and quietly, we let our body stop moving. See, all the yoga dust floats to the bottom and it's very clear. You can see right through the brush. But if we move again, the thoughts start to move too. So we wanna be just like the yoga dust brush and we wanna get our thoughts nice and calm and our bodies nice and calm by lying still. So before we start Shavasana, I always tell my friends, let's turn off our lights and find a comfortable position, lying down on your mat. And if you were in my class, I would put a little bit of yoga dust right on your forehead. So because I'm not with you, you could just take your fingers and rub it in. Or if you have a mom or a dad or a brother or sister there, they could rub some in. I'm gonna put some on Amelia. She's such a good girl. So you're just gonna lie down nice and comfortably. Hands can be on your belly, they can be down by your side. Nice and straight. Make your feet kind of go apart a little bit. Yes. And you're just taking some big breaths in. And some big breaths out. And 
in and out. Really letting yourself get nice and calm. Pretending there's a Shavasana fairy that's coming to touch each part of your body with their wand. They touch your head, your head gets relaxed. They touch your shoulders, your shoulders relax. They touch your arms, your arms relax. They touch your hands and your hands relax. They touch each one of your fingers and they relax. They touch your belly. Your belly relaxes. It's that tickle part. They touch your legs. Your legs relax. They put some dust on your feet. Your feet relax. Each toe. And then they put a little bit of dust on your heart center. And you breathe in and you breathe out. Relaxing your body head to toe, making all those thoughts in your head settle down just like in the yoga desk brush. Nice and calm. Big breath in. Big breath out. And in, and out, and in, and out. You're not falling asleep, you're just relaxing. When you move your body and stretch, you're waking up your body. This is now when you're making it strong, this is making your brain strong. Because your brain wants, is telling your body wants to move. But you're telling it, no. Another big breath and you bring your arms way up over your head. A big breath out, you hug your knees, squeeze your knees to your chest. Big breath in. Big breath out. Another big breath in. You're going to roll up. Big breath out. You're going to sit crisscross apple box. All right. So the last thing we do is we send someone we love some hugs. So we put our hands on our, our heart center and we're going to send them some of that calm energy we have. So think of someone you love very, very much. It could be a person, it could be an animal. They could be alive or not. They can be in your house or they could be very, very, very far away. So close your eyes and try to picture whoever it is you're thinking of. Picture their faces. And when you're ready, you're gonna take a big breath in. And then we're gonna breathe out and send them our hugs. Let's try that one more time. Hands on our hearts. Big breath in. Let's send them our hugs. Good job. And you're like, what did you send your hugs to? You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought I felt bad. I sent my hug to OG. That's my mom for Mother's Day. Well, you're not allowed to. No. All right, now we take our special and our kind hands back together to our heart center. And we respect each other by having kind hearts. Can you say kind hearts? Kind hearts. Beautiful. Then we bring our hands to our mouth and we say, we use our kind words. Can you say kind words? Kind words. Excellent. And then we bring our hands to our forehead and we remember to think kind thoughts. Can you say kind thoughts? Kind thoughts. Excellent. And then we end by acknowledging the special and the kindness in each other by saying namaste. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for doing yoga with me today. And thank you to my girl here for helping me. Um, I'm pretty sure she'll be back because I can't do yoga for about three weeks. So, will you come back? Yeah. Thank you. Bye, everybody.